The Union Depot, located in downtown St. Paul, Minnesota near the Mississippi River, is undergoing an extensive $243 million renovation to restore this magnificent building for use as a transportation hub for trains, light rail, and buses. It takes hundreds of skilled workers thousands of hours to complete a project like this safely, on time, and on budget. It takes commitment and hard work from professional craftspeople who are the best in the business. And it takes workers from many different crafts applying skills they learn through the Building Trades apprenticeship programs. How do you become a skilled craftsperson? The system is called apprenticeship, paid on-the-job training, earn as you learn. Most of the training takes place at a construction site, just like the Union Depot project. Skilled professionals with years of experience supervise and train apprentices as they learn and practice new skills. Other instruction takes place in the classroom at the various union's training centers where apprentices learn such things as blueprint reading, safety, first aid, and professional standard certification and trade-specific skills. Depending on the trade, it can take anywhere from two to five years to complete an apprenticeship and become a journey-level worker. This is training for a lifelong, sustainable career with good pay and good benefits. A challenging, exciting career that lets you live your passion and practice your expertise every day. We have over 40 individual subcontractors on the project and that would incorporate at least 20 trades. Carpenters, laborers, plumbers, pipe fitters, sheet metal workers, painters, masons, fireproofing, tile setters, elevator equipment. Everybody's been very knowledgeable when they come on board as to safety and quality and the aspects of the project and job that they're going to do. Why choose the apprenticeship path? Construction careers are for people that like to work with their hands, enjoy a variety of challenges on the job, and want the satisfaction of seeing the results of their work. I went to a program with Building Minnesota and they had us do a couple of months overview of all the trades. We went to all the training centers and at the end of the program you got to choose your top three that you wanted to be. I chose carpenter, laborer and low voltage electrician. I got a job at the Twin Stadium in 2008 and I've been doing it ever since. I've had a desk job, can't stand it. I like this. Um, for us it's something new every day. We, the work we may do, the wire pulling may be the same but the actual build out of a site, every site is different. Basically I became apprentice, I'd like to say it's for a better quality of life for uh, me and my family. I guess. The benefit to being an apprentice uh, can start as soon as high school is over. A young man or young, young woman can come into our trades and get, tra get the training they need to go out on the job site to be successful. Well, you learn a lot of the stuff in class, but you learn most of it out in the field, you know, what it is. And I used to have that little extra knowledge from the class that you get, you know, but it's, I definitely like doing it in the field better because that's when you really learn, you know, by doing hands-on stuff. Who can be an apprentice? Apprentices are of many ages and come from all kinds of backgrounds. High school or college graduates, military veterans, or people who are looking to change their careers and find a new vocation. We're seeing a lot of older apprentices come through and primarily uh, folks who have decided to change their occupations and come into the building trades, be it brick lane or, or any of the other trades that are available to them out there. In our school there's, you know, some kids are 18, 19, maybe right out of high school, all the way up to 50 years old. People that want to be apprentices are of all ages and, and there's no stigma at how young or how old you should be. It just depends upon how determined you are. There are a lot of aspects to construction that are key and everybody taking those life experiences and bringing them on board to a project team atmosphere 
whether that's uh, a plumber or a carpenter or an electrician, is really key to the overall project success. How much does an apprenticeship program cost? Think of apprenticeship as a different kind of university. While there may be costs associated with your apprenticeship, they are substantially less than a two- or four-year college degree program, where a student can rack up thousands of dollars of debt and may never secure a job in their field of study. My sister actually, she just joined the union and she's, she went to school to be a teacher. And she has more debt that she, it's more than what her house costs. Both environments are learning environments, I should say that, because either way you learn something. And here, it's more hands-on, and there it's more theory. So. What can you expect as a union apprentice? Apprentices are tough, and so is the work they do. They must be physically fit, able to do the work, and expect to work in all kinds of weather. Apprentices must be on time every day and ready to go to work. Eight hours pay for eight hours work. Apprentices must be drug-free to do the work safely. And they are expected to have reliable transportation to take them wherever the job site is located. If you start at 7, don't start walking in at 7 because then you're late. You want to start walking in at 6.30 to 6.45. So then you get yourself together because a lot of times you have to grab tools. You know, you have to have a meeting with your foreman. And so you actually start work at 7. You don't get to work at 7. So it's a big deal. It's a big deal to be here on time. They're paying you a decent wage and you're making a good living. So you're expected to be working at a reasonable time and putting an honest day's work in. Can apprenticeship be a career path? Apprenticeship is just the first step in your career. After you complete your apprenticeship training and become a journey-level worker, you have several options you can pursue, which include becoming a supervisor, a project manager, an estimator, or a business owner. Yeah, you, you get a lot of training out of it. There's a lot of training to go into it, but at the same time, once you get up into that journeyman, it's, it's, that's where you, the goal is to get is to that journeyman. I have a career. I have a something that's going to provide for my family and it's nice that I actually have a profession already at 23 years old. So I do want to complete this, I do want to become a journeyman and my dream is to own my own business one day and I feel like this is a good step in the right direction. Learning to work safely is an essential part of the training. We expect everybody that comes on site to be here at 7 a.m. for stretching every day. Uh, that safety is the number one priority when they come on the project. Uh, we want them to think about safety in every aspect of what they do. Check your work area, make sure that your surroundings are clear, make sure there are not Im any imminent dangers. In the morning we, we always have safety instructions, we always have talks with the, the foreman and everything is very professional. They make sure that safety is priority number one so that you go home safe and in one piece to your family. Have a safe day, thank you. Apprentices take pride in their work and in being a part of history. Maybe one time when I come back here and bring my kids or my family here, they'll be part of the history that I, at least say uh, I'm part of it now. My kids' as kids can come down here and, and uh, see what went on, you know, in 2012 here. We were at the airport and I brought my kids through every project that I did. Dad, I know. I go, you're walking on my tile. Dad, I know. You're walking by my tile. I did that. We did that. Me and my buddies did that. Yeah, I know, Dad, you did everything, right? Did you do everything? Yeah, I tiled everything. They're just tired of listening to it, you know. Well, it's funny because working at the Union Depot, this place has been here forever, and I feel this is such a historic event. We're really making history here, and I, I enjoy it. Take pride in what I do and be able to have my finished products on a project like this. I was really excited to, to be part of it and to be part of that history. Yes, I'm pr you know, proud to be a part of something that's going to be around for years to come. For, and who knows, who, there'll be tons of people coming in and out of here with all the trains and the buses. And Apprenticeship training is for people of age 18 and older who want to work hard every day to deliver quality results. While a lot of the work is physically demanding, Construction is also now a high-tech industry that uses computers, lasers, remote-controlled cameras, and innovative green products. 
As an apprentice, you can expect variety in the work day to day and year to year. Sometimes you will work alone, sometimes in a team. Projects can be large, like building a sports stadium or the Union Depot project, or they can be smaller, like building a home or performing maintenance calls. Be a part of the challenging construction industry that provides great pay and benefits. An industry that gives you an opportunity to learn skills you can use for a lifetime and that creates history every day. Be a part of something that lasts. Every day I get to go work with my friends. And every day I get to work with different friends. Uh, and when we're all finished, we can all look back at our job and, and say, wow, look at that. How, that looks great. I'm showing my children the value of hard work. You know, when I come to work every day, I work hard, I make a great living, and then I can go home and take care of my family. And that is what being a tradesperson is to me. Everybody should have a, a chance of doing this, hands-on and getting a skill, because uh, I think it's, it's a skill for life. If you want an exciting, challenging, and rewarding career in the construction trades, start by looking at www.constructioncareers.org.